Hello everybody, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. I have a beautiful flat top Smith Corona, not Smith Corona, but Corona Sterling 1934. And it technically is Smith and Corona, but it didn't go, it doesn't say Smith Corona, it just says Corona. The Sterling uh, decal up here is gone. So we don't know what happened to that, but this one is in pretty good shape. Um, the decal down here looks really nice. The decal here, now obviously this thing is pretty old, so it does show, even though it looks really nice, you can see smudges, little chips here and there. I mean, they're really minor. There's some chips up in there, just really small. There's a little bit of wearing of the enamel. It's still black, but it looks, there's spots where it looks matte versus shiny, but you really can't see it unless you hold it up and allow the um, light to like bounce back off of it. And then you notice it. But overall, when you're looking at it, it looks beautiful. Um, and I can't wait to show you how it works. So before I do the testing demo, I'm going to go through really quick how to use this. I'm assuming if you're looking at a Sterling, you're somewhat familiar with typewriters. So I'm going to go as fast as I can on this one. Fold over and you'll see your margins. Okay. Press and drag here. Paper holder is right there, either side. Lift that back up, paper guide. The paper guide is not gonna work, it's really stiff. Probably if you sprayed something in there, it would loosen up. However, be careful what you spray because it can ruin the enamel. Just saying. Okay, um, down here you'll see, um, oh, before we do that, tab sets. Back here, lift it up. You'll see the uh, tab bar here. There's only one key left, so don't lose this. You pull it off, there's the key, and you just put it where you want. You slide it into one of those grooves to set your tab. Normally there's six, this one only has one. So you don't wanna lose it, okay? Um. So down here, backspace, here's your tab. Oops, let's go here and then tab. So that's where we set the tab. Your shift lock and your margin release. We'll go over all of that here in a second. Carriage release to handle uh, metal levers right here. Bell sounds really good on this one. This is your paper release, which releases the tension on the paper so you can fine adjust it. Your return handle. It's looking really good. This one is your line selector. One, that's double actually. Two, and this is single. And nope, I was gonna say if it went up to nothing, it doesn't. Okay, move it to the left. Let's pop open the top. You'll see metal spools. Now I don't know if these are the original spools or not, but this does have metal spools in it, which means we've wound extra ribbon on this, which is woo. So you guys are actually getting a bonus because when we do metal, custom metal ribbons, um, that's about twice the cost of what a universal ribbon is. So you're getting that as a bonus. So think of it as getting an extra ribbon for free. Okay, so when it is time to replace these, you can send these spools to us and we'll rewind them, wrap them for you. Uh, if you go to jotandtittletypewriters.com, then you and look up custom ribbons then you'll see how to do that now when you do put new ribbon in make sure black is on top red is on bottom make sure it is threaded properly through all of these guides and i have an up close photo that shows you how to how it should be threaded <clears throat> excuse me and um if you click the product listing link in the description it'll take you to the product listing and all the photos and so that way you can bookmark that photo or save it or whatever you want to do now this ribbon will last you a long time but when it gets to the end please be aware that your typewriter is going to start acting really funky so if your typewriter is acting funky or it just stops all together 
always reverse the direction of your ribbon and you do that right here, okay? Um, or check, make sure it hasn't come, uh, has it come out of the guide wires or anything like that. So just make sure it's threaded properly. Um, this is touch selector. This determines how hard these strike bars will strike your paper. And down here, color selector, red, black. The middle is white, which means stencil. You will never use it. If it's on there, your typewriter's not gonna type right. So make sure it is always firmly on a color selector. Okay, let's go ahead and load a piece of paper and we'll do our typing test. So I'm just gonna set it right there, turn the handle. That should pull it all the way through, there you go. I bring it up, let me move this this way. I bring it up to make sure I got it even and it's crooked. So I'm gonna release, do my paper release, straighten it out. There you go. And there's no number one on this, so you use a lowercase l for your number one. And then this is a 1934 Corona Sterling. And I find these really, hold on, I'm gonna put it on black. I love typing on these, they're a lot of fun because I like the round glass keys. They just feel fun on my fingers, that's why I like them. Okay, so let's go ahead and test each of these keys and they feel really nice. I'm gonna get the tab, oops, I forgot the tabs further down, hold on. All right, so shift lock is looking good. Let's do the symbols. smaller font. This would be good for writers uh, because it'll give you more characters per line and per page. And the um, type looks so nice. It's nice and dark and clear. There's no um, bleeding, smudging, which is really good. Oops, let's backspace. When you make a mistake, you just backspace, which it does not erase. Backspace does not erase. You gotta remember that. Um, but you just type over your mistakes because it's okay to make mistakes when you're typing. The quick, quick brown fox jumps over. Uh, see, I keep, sorry, backspace again. Over that lady. Okay, let's keep doing some sentences. There's the bell, and I'm gonna keep going so we can do show you the margin release. Okay, so now it's gonna completely stop. So when you hit, in case you don't know, margin, the bell tells you, hey, you're at the end of your line. Um, you know, typewriters, you have to manually go to the next line. But let's say you're in the middle of a word and you don't wanna to go to the next line. You hit margin release and you can keep typing. Okay, y'all, this types really well. Um, I love it. So I'm gonna take a photo of that. So if you wanna, on any of my typing tutorials, you go to the product listing and you can see up close images of the font and the um, escapement area. Um, and if you need an up close image, if it's not on there, just let me know. But this types extremely well. This is a great typewriter in great condition. It is not pristine, 
We don't, we rarely do pristine typewriters. That's a refurbisher or a restorer. However, this looks wonderful and it types amazing and somebody is going to love it. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have comments or questions and you all have a blessed day.